the shift in messaging is a really difficult one for some businesses to deal with, particularly some kind of old school call centers. Um, if we were looking at like what customers should do when or what they should look at when they're shifting to messaging, the first thing you need to do is work out where your customers are. Like there's no point going live on 12 different channels at the same time because you just don't know where they are. So do some proof of concepts, do some outreach on those channels, offer up some different ways, maybe from IVR deflection on such like for customers to to kind of switch to those channels, see where see where they see where they want to interact with you on. And you can control discovery of those channels as well, like slowly throttle up those new channels, crawl, walk, run, we all know is, is the way to do this. Um, but just leveling up so your call center gets used to, to using um, these different channels. Another really key thing to do is set expectations. And we do that through something called office hours. So we always recommend that first time that customer messages you on that channel, just ping them back a quick message that says what your hours of operations are. So they know when they can be expecting um, expecting a reply from you, just like I do with my mother-in-law. I'm working at the moment, like I'll respond to you back at, at lunchtime. I think one of the biggest problems, uh, biggest piece of advice we've seen there is metrics. Like your metrics fundamentally change when you start to use asynchronous. Um, and I think if you continue, that like you need to break out of this model of handle time and how much time your agent is spending in these conversations. They are not synchronous conversations, they are asynchronous. So your agents are gonna dip into that conversation. They're gonna be able to run multiple conversations at the same time. So start looking at things like resolve rate, resolution rate, did we fix the problem? Did the customer call back with seven days for any other reason? Is a really interesting one we've seen. And certainly when you're introducing uh, a bot or any AI, tracking the volume of conversations managed by that bot and tracking the ticket resolution rate off the back of what the when the bot hands off to an agent is really key as well. Like you wanna make sure that your bot is handing over in the right situations. Um, but yeah, I guess the thing, the biggest benefit we've seen is obviously in, you immediately get this boost of 24 seven service by switching on uh, automation like this. And that always gives you a, at least, a, we see a 10 point CSAT bump when people do that.